So if you're wondering if that floating windows around your living room thing works on Quest 3, it absolutely does. What's up guys, welcome back to The Construct. So today I kind of want to talk about all of the productivity things you can do on Quest 3. But before we get started, I, I just wanted to mention on my last video, I'm definitely not hating on the Apple Vision Pro. I think it's going to get there. I just don't think we're there yet. Right now, the best thing for us to do is enjoy a very, very capable device for $500. I'm about the consumer guys, not about these companies. So let's take a look at some cool stuff. All right, first off, let's just talk about the dashboard itself. I am in pass-through mode right now. I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you do a little double tap on the side of the headset, you can go back into immersive mode. Um, double tap again to get out. So but there are productivity apps right here in the dashboard. You don't need a separate app necessarily to do things um, because so many things can be done through a web browser these days. But let me just show you some stuff. Connect your mouse to your Quest if you wanna try productivity, it really changes the game. Everybody wants to try to use these new features of using your hands and, and all this stuff, but I feel like if you really wanna get some work done, you're gonna get back to the basics and jump on your mouse and keyboard, no doubt. You can use your mouse in every part of the dashboard. So you can see here, you have your cursor. I'm gonna grab this and bring it a little bit closer down here. And when you start typing here with your keyboard, you can see my keyboard went away the virtual keyboard went away and you can actually start typing with your actual physical keyboard. Now there is an app on here uh, for Word and Excel. I wanna show you this. It's a little funny because they're still using web browsers. You can see here I have just a regular startup dashboard. I'm still getting hand tracking here so you can always use this as your mouse if you don't want to come down here and, and see the cursor. But you can see here, Got my dashboard. If I started a new blank document, the funny thing about this app is that it actually pops open the web browser and brings you into 365, right? So you can see here, I'm perfectly ready to go. I still have the option of my virtual keyboard down there. I have my hands for, for the mouse, or I can hop into the hardware here. And you can say, I'm writing in Word on the Quest 3. So you still have the option to take one of these tabs and move it over to the side here if you want to do some work or do your research over here. I know how much people say they don't like this, this bar, but if you take a look at this, if you actually had three monitors, you probably would, they probably would set flat like that. Now, everybody's anticipating that Meta is gonna come up with, you know, a new UI that will fix all of this or, or change it. It doesn't bother me so much, but if it really bothers you, there's always that distance mode where we can go here and here. Let's drag another window over here. So put one right over the camera. Your mouse and keyboard actually works in every piece of uh, the app. So like I can open up um, not just web browsers, but even if I were in the store here, I my, my mouse scroll still works in the store. So you can operate the entire UI with your mouse and keyboard. And you can see here, this is actually pretty cool. Um, you can see if I'm using my mouse, I can move everything around at once. And then down here, you can see I have multiple windows open on the web browser. If you tap it once, you can see I have the ability to swap between those tabs really quickly, right? So it's just like any other doc or taskbar, I can swap really quick back to my Word document and continue working if I want it to kind of hop around a little bit more than the three slots I have here in the bar. But again, I feel like you should try this for yourself. I feel like um, working like this is a little uncomfortable. I mean, I, I still am very aware of something on my face. So I'm not super excited to work like this, especially when my actual <laughs> Mac is right behind it, you know? So, I mean, whatever you like, but for, for this price point to kind of try this out and see if working with virtual screens is something you wanna do, it, it's definitely a, something I would recommend. There's also apps that you could try that might be a little bit more your speed. One of the apps is called Fluid. That's what you saw at the beginning of this video. Fluid is in App Lab, you can see it here. App Lab is just apps in the App Store that aren't quite finished yet, but they give you early access just to check them out. So let me open this up and show you how it works. So you can see here, you have those floating windows, right? You have a little bit of a dock right here. Let me unlock that. I have a dock I can move around. One of the things that's exciting about this app 
is that it shows that you can move windows around as much as you want. I'm gonna grab my controller because I'm kind of tired of using my hands and controllers are really nice, makes everything really accurate. Um, but you have this dashboard here. There's a pass-through mode that we're in now, uh, but you can actually go into immersive mode. Here we are on the moon. There's a window behind me. I didn't realize I was there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is this is where you can kind of set up your, your workspace. I'm gonna close this window. It's kind of creeping me out behind me. But you can set up your workspace here. Let's get a new tab going. Uh, they have little cool buttons down here to you know, pick up pick up a website really quick without actually having to type it in. And I don't know if you noticed what's going on down here at the bottom. There's a little window that lets me see my desk. So if I'm using my actual keyboard, uh, I don't have to do the virtual keyboard. I can just see my real keyboard and see my hands. So I can, you know, do that. So um, let's just start using the mouse. So if I wanted to, you know, There you go. So I can use my peripherals and actually see them. So if that's something that you kind of like get disoriented by, I think this will probably be a feature that, that more people use, you know, so I can just quickly see what's in the real world. Let's, let's go back into pastor. So you can see this works. You can put these all around the room. They stay fixed for the most part, but you know, if you leave your, your space and come back, that's one thing that the Apple Vision Pro does better. But if you leave your space and come back, they, they might be a little wonky. When you come back, you might have to reset them. Now, the last app is the Creme de la Creme Virtual Desktop. Now, you probably already heard about Virtual Desktop if you've been watching anything about Quest 3, but Virtual Desktop is a great app for both gaming and productivity. You can see I'm loaded up in here in a kind of private viewing room. Um, if I actually move a controller, you can see the lights come back on. The light dynamics are super cool. Like if you're watching a movie, you can actually see um, reflections on the walls. Um, but you can see my mouse here is actually real time controlling the mouse on the PC that's in a different room in my house. So you do have a streamer app that is connected to the app on the Quest 3. So you just download that on your PC and you're good to go. But there's so many options to actually interact with this. Let's jump into pass-through really quick. Go to environments, pass-through. So you can see I have complete control over this window. So here's the PC, it's in a different room in my house. I can have this screen as big as I want to. Let's do that. You can, you know, you can go ridiculously big. I'm not sure why you would want to do that. Or maybe if you wanted it this big, you could use it for editing in Adobe Premiere or whatever you might want to do there. So obviously you can open up a browser and look at anything you might want to watch on that PC. So this is a very, very sharp display guys. Like virtual desktop, I don't know what they're doing to pass through such like a high bit rate uh, to the headset, but it's really, really, really clean and really clear. So yeah, if you wanted to watch a movie in pass-through, just like this, you could do that. Uh, put the controllers down. I can hit full screen here. There you go. And what, what more can you ask for for 500 bucks, guys? So then if you want to go into an environment, let's, let's pull up an environment. You want to watch this in a home cinema, you can watch it in a home cinema, put your controllers down. And once the controllers time out, you can see that the lights dim and you actually get a little bit of ambient light inside the room from what you're watching. You can see the lights are kind of red at the bottom. And when I pick up the controller, you can see, you can see that the lights came back on. Let's try, let's try a couple more. You can switch over to a bigger home theater. Put down the controllers. You can see how it, when the lights go out, hey, this is so dope. Let's try a couple more. Even if you want a in the office kind of feel, they have these joints right here where you can be at like a virtual desk you got the OGs from Oculus over there on the wall. There's a fancy apartment. 
even a gaming desk. This is actually one of my favorites. You can see when the lights dim, it's pretty cool. So you have like the ambient lights behind the monitor that actually change colors. Got a virtual desktop PC over to the right. Yeah, this is one of my favorites right here. And if you want to go back to the big old screen, you can do a dark cinema. That's your jam. You get that almost IMAX feel, right? Definitely check out Virtual Desktop. I'm gonna cover it more on this channel. It's definitely worth the 20 bucks. And that's it for Virtual Desktop, guys. This thing is amazing. So as you can see, guys, you can get a lot of stuff done on the Quest 3. It's not just a gaming device. I'm actually gonna take some more time and see if I can get used to working in a virtual environment. I'm not sure how comfortable it is, no matter what device you use, but definitely check this out if you recently picked up a Quest 3. If this is your first time here, caress the like button with your finest polishing cloth, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time in the Construct. Peace.